come on to do a quick video about rules and really kind of trying to comply with them and everybody trying to work together. I think it gets a little bit political sometimes at the moment because everybody's confused and there's different rules and regs wherever you go. It's hard to change and adapt. Some people don't like it, some people don't want to. You know, I don't think it matters whether you're a lefty or a righty or an in-betweeny or I don't give a flying tossy, whether you think that, you know, you're going to die if you catch this virus or, or whether you're really frightened of it. Whatever your views are, we all need to really be coming together at the moment and helping each other. And that really revolves around just respecting the rules of each company and service that we use. You know, if you receive some terms and conditions or some kind of protocol that you've been asked to comply with, it's been done for a reason. And the reason is that a company whose service you're using has been forced to put certain procedures in place. And if they're not followed, the company will risk getting a £10,000 fine or being closed. And you risk by not complying, you will risk being refused entry into certain places. And I w would have that ethos as well because, you know, I comply with all the rules I need to. I always have done. I always seem to be the one that buys the gambling license if I'm doing a raffle uh, or has the performing animal license. Um, when I'm doing a photo shoot, well, other people just rock up with their dogs and let them piss freely and have a jolly. Um, you need to really be helping me out here if you want to use my service and be respectful. I think a lot of people are saying it feels a bit naggy at the moment wherever they go and everyone's getting a little bit sick of things but you know if you have some sort of procedure to follow when you turn up please make sure that you read every single procedure and follow it not just the bits that you think you believe in uh, or go off piste a little bit if you've been asked to wait in a car wait in a car you've been asked for a reason you know when you visit your groomer or your vet take your dog to the toilet at home in your own road in your own street in your own garden you're not allowed to to be leaving the house at the moment willy-nilly you have to have reasons to leave the house so just please try and follow people's protocols when they ask you to do something please follow it to the T it, we really need everybody needs our customers to really comply at the moment when they have the chance to have um, an emergency welfare service for those that, that may be offering that service at the moment and also going forward into tiers when the full lockdown goes you'll find that when you go down to different tiers everybody will probably have a lot of rules in place still there's been rules in place since this started in March last year and companies are so frustrated now where people just will not cannot won't follow the rules I said to a customer service friend the other day I said well, what is the problem why do people just keep deviating from following the rules and she said well for you for example she said it, they're important to you but they're not important to anybody else they're just important to you they're your rules that you need to follow and I'm like well that's really sad you know um you bend over backwards you make yourself ill over your over your job really and and what you you would have customers that wouldn't comply with those rules um and maybe there's just a communication problem I don't know I think it's a bit like when people go to the supermarkets and they're getting turned away because the rules in some supermarkets might be one person in attendance only or you must wear your mask if you can't breathe tough you can't come in you know they have to follow certain rules you might go to one branch of, of a certain store and another branch might have a different rule to another branch and it's just the way it is um, and for me I would have to turn people away if they don't comply with rules the reason why I stick to rules so much is from time to time you might get the clipboard crew wanting to start a little bit of trouble I always make sure that I follow rules so I've got everything in place to say on you fuck when they come to try and start trouble because I really do stick to my rules I take them very seriously and I do expect people that use my service to take this situation really serious really it's not easy for everybody at the moment you know 
consider safety when you are transporting your dog to any services whether it's your vets or your groomers which you are allowed to leave the house for for welfare reasons at the moment and make sure that you're wearing a collar on your dog or harness that's really tight when dogs are placed into an area um, where the owners are walking away from where you've got to keep the two meter distance or I think vets are handing straight over to owners you've got a situation where a dog recoils a lot and when those collars are on loose they can come straight out the collars and it's very very dangerous there's been incidents all over the country just because owners are refusing to put those collars on properly they actually can go on quite tight around the neck you'd be surprised how tight they can go on I'm going to come back and do a video on that to show you uh, how correctly to to wear your collar when you're transporting your dog